Home of the St. Louis Rams since 1995, the Edward Jones Dome will be host for our game, which looks to be a good one, between New York and St. Louis. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? With the dome protecting us from the elements, weather won't have an effect on this one today. I'm Tom Hammond. Chris Collinsworth is here. We're ready for the call. From the seventh. Chris, I have to say I'm excited about this one. I think the thing is you have to have good quarterback play because if you have that, you can withstand a lot of adversity. The team with that definitely has an advantage here. Here's the give. Nine. Jackson gains around three yards on the counter play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Single back formation, three wide receivers. He drops back to pass. Dumps it out left. He's brought down around the 41 yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Bolger drops back on first down. Comes down with it. And they get him at the 44-yard line. He was lucky to get that one off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Only gained about four yards on that play, but sometimes as an offense, as long as it's not a negative play, it's a positive play. He's looking to throw. Rolling right. Pass is complete. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Jackson gains around seven yards with the catch, and that's good for a first down. Now we're starting to see this offense get in a nice little rhythm. The quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. They look sharp. Bolger hasn't missed yet. And he hasn't missed a pass yet. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Bolger back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Still good on the drive. He makes a great open field tackle. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Feeds it to the back. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. Four-yard gain on the play. That'll bring up second down. Three wide receiver. Guns at left. Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. The quarterback put that one too far out in front of his receiver, and he couldn't stay in bounds. He tried to make a safe throw there, but the receiver was open. It didn't have to be quite that cautious and just let him out of bounds. He drops back. Rolls right. He makes another catch. Finally make the tackle, and it will be first and goal. Excellent pass by the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Passes to his left. Gets in for the touchdown. The tight end comes up with a catch for a touchdown. Quarterbacks love throwing to those big tight ends on the goal line. It is just an easier target, easier to find those guys. Up 
and good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Kicks it off. He's hammered at the 22. And now their offense will take the field for the first time in the game. They'll set up shop at the 22-yard line. First and 10. There's a play fake. Sack! That was a great job by the corner to get him on the blitz. If a quarterback's really good, he can anticipate that corner blitz because he sees the coverage shift over to that side. Obviously, you can't blitz a corner and leave the guy open without shifting the coverage. That time, the quarterback had no idea. Just planks right on his hand. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. Drops back, throws it, brings this one in. The defender gets him to the ground. Oh boy, that's a nice play on third down. Clutch play by the receiver that time on third down. As a receiver, you really have to just flat out want the ball in that situation. You can tell that this guy really does. Cuts back and he's dropped. That's a two yard gain. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Another run. He's brought down at the 49 yard line. And that was a nice job to pick up the first down. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Tackle about the 43-yard line. And that was a gain of seven. That brings up second down. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Jacobs is the single setback. The Giants use motion. They tackle him for a loss. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please? And the defense has a heavy rush. He's dropped around the 35-yard line. The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass. Open it up down the field. Manning to the air on first down. Short throw to the right. And the defender intercepts it. They'll get in for the touchdown. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was. And even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. And here's the extra point. Kick is up, and the point after is good. Decent kick. Hickson from the two. He's tackled at the 37. Excellent return on the kickoff. 
You know, that's one of those plays that is a kick returner. You don't always run to the hole when you see it. You kind of run away from the hole, and then at the last second you make a break into the hole so that they don't know where the hole is because you're not running in that direction. Does that make any sense? He's dropped for a loss. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Looks to pass. Gets the throw away. It's picked off. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. First and ten. The Giants bring in their advice package only down. Fakes to the back. And it's completed. And they get him right around the 32-yard line. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. Fails to connect with the pass. Leonard was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. He fakes it. And he dives and makes the catch. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Jackson gets it on the inside. He fights forward to about the 20. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Ouch. You take too many shots like that as a running back, you start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. He's hammered in the backfield. Three-yard loss there, and that makes it third down. So another third down upcoming for the offense. St. Louis comes out with an eye formation. He drops back to pass. Pass to the middle. Holt looked like he had it, but couldn't hang on. He threw that one right into cover. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. The snap, set down, the kick is up. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. He's hammered at the 28-yard line. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. Jacobs has the deep back as they line up in the eye. Toss. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Nice job on the toss play there. Boy, if you can get that block on the edge out there, when you have a guy with this kind of speed and quickness, it just makes that play so much easier. And defensive coordinators go crazy. That's the one thing any defense should be able to do is contain that outside pitch. Jacobs gets the ball. 
dropped behind the line. Disappointing loss there for the offense. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Here's a draw. Tackled around the 48-yard line. Around two yards there on the delayed handoff. From the 48-yard line, the Rams bring in their dime package. Manning back to throw. Gets the ball away. He's dropped right around the 30-yard line. A decent pickup on the pass play. Yeah, and that's frustrating for a defense. They had good coverage on the play. The receiver just found a way to catch that one. Drops back to pass. Under heavy pressure, he makes another reception on the drive. A decent gain on the pass. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. Play action. End zone. He brings it in, touchdown. And that's about as well executed a play as you can ask for. And that's no fluke right there. We saw him hit that play a couple of times in practice the other day. That's something they're going to come back to until you find a way to stop it. Kick is up. Up and good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Hall from the five. He's still going. Dropped at the 33. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. Feeds it to the back. Brought down around the 38-yard line. Four-yard gain by the back. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 38. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Bolger drops to throw. Throws while on the run. And he's hammered at the 46-yard line. No trouble airing it out. That gives him 100 yards already. Not a bad first quarter, huh? And before the game, this quarterback was telling me his arm felt great in practice all week. So we'll see how he holds up for the remainder of the game. Looks to pass. Throws middle. Almost picked. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Drops back. Looking for a receiver. Defender gets his hand on him. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. He's looking to throw. Passes it out. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. That one could have easily been intercepted. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense lines up and is looking to score again after a successful trip to the end zone on their last drive. Cut. 
It's the tailback. He's brought down at the 24-yard line. He picks up four yards on the carry. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 24. New York comes out with an eye formation. Back to throw. Guns it out. Pass completed. Great open field tackle. Excellent poise under pressure on that pass play with the defense closing in. Good vision shown by the quarterback on that play to find the open man. You could see him looking around, then checking it down late for a nice pickup. And they got him. And that blitz worked to perfection. As a quarterback, you understand where your protection is and what you can protect. If you can't protect a certain side, you have to throw it hot. That time the quarterback missed the hot read and paid the price. Gets it away cleanly. Paul fields it at the 42. And he just got hammered. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I, mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. Fakes to the back. And it's caught. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Back to pass. Is there for the catch. Tackle at the 21. Good yardage that time on the pass. And how'd you like that throw by the quarterback? A little touch, a little lob in over the top, like an alley-oop in basketball. Here we go. The Rams use motion. Drops back on first down. Scans the field. Makes the catch. It'll be first and goal. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Here's the give. And they get him at the seven. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. We played a quarter. The score is 17-7. Six yards away from Pater here. They come out with a big set. Bolger with the give. And he will lose yardage on the play. One yard loss for the halfback. The offense sets up seven yards away. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Sets up the play action. Tipped pass. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Here's the kick. And he makes it. He put that one right through the upright. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks this one deep. He'll return it from the one. At the 30. Brought down at the 33. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. The Giants come out in the shotgun. There are three receivers wide. Jacobs gets the carry. He's dropped at the 34-yard line. That's a one-yard pickup, and that will bring up second down. Second and nine. Ball on the 34-yard line. Manning is under center. Only one in the backfield this time. 
Back to pass. He needs to get the pass off. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. And he's knocked out at the 44-yard line. Pretty risky throw that time, but it worked, so you won't see many complaints. Probably the most dangerous throw in football right there. Anytime you see the quarterback throwing across his body like that, back into coverage, when it works, you go, boy, that looks pretty and that's easy to do, and you're always tempted to do it. But how many times have we seen a ball like that picked off? And he's decleated at the 33. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Manning sends a man in motion. Manning back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Completed. And they get him right around the 22-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. He's finally dragged down, and now it will be first and goal. It's first and goal, and the offense would love to get into the end zone to make this a game again. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Four-yard gain by the back. The defense is backed up against their own end zone here. They put everyone up on the line. Jacobs, the ball carrier. They'll score. Touchdown. Jacobs got some open space to work with and was able to put points on the board. They'll look to tack on the extra point. It's good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. He kicks it. Hall fields it at the goal line. He breaks the tackle. Drill at the 22. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Fullback on the inside give. He's tackled about the 25-yard line. A pickup of four. That'll bring up second down. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He's brought down at the 30. He picks up four yards on the carry. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. St. Louis lines up in the offset eye this time. And they'll try and get the first through the air. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line. That completion won't amount to much, and they'll wind up short of the first on the play. Very disappointing for an offense to get a completion and not get the first down. The receiver's job there is to make somebody miss. Clearly have to give the defense credit there. They won. Jones kicks it, and man, did he get a leg into this one. They were able to score through the air the last time they had the ball. Let's see what they planned for this drive. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. They hand it off. 
He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Gain of two. That brings up second down. From their own 25-yard line. Jacobs is the single setback. Manning with the gift. Brought down behind the line. He tries to wriggle away, but he's stopped for a loss. Well, Tom, the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. Defense closing in. He took a shot at the 38. Nice job by the quarterbacks to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Manning dropping back, and the defense has a heavy rush. That was some catch. Oh, I love that play. That's what they call it. giving up your body to make a play for your football team there. Great catch. Great concentration, and the hardest part, hanging on after that catch. The Giants motion to the left side. Drops back with the pass. Makes the reception. Tackled at the 38. He found his tight end for a first down. There's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football. Nice play. Jacobs lines up as the single back. Jacobs on the handoff. And they get him at the 36-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second down, eight yards to go. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. Goes through his read. He's there for the catch. Three, call it four on the completion. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Ward lines up as the deep back. I formation. They will be short. That play was stuck from the get-go. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. Kick is up, and he got all of this one right down the middle. What an excellent kick. I don't know about you, but I was getting ready to question the coach's decision on that one, giving him an opportunity from that distance. But boy, did he ever make that coach look smart there. Kicks it off. He'll take it from the two. Hit and dropped at the 28-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll start at the 28-yard line. Bolger comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Drops back on first down. On the run, he throws it. Brought down with only one man to beat. The defense came with the blitz that time. And defensively, you just can't ask for any better coverage than that. They are right there, but when you have a strong arm quarterback like that, sometimes he can squeeze it in the holes that others can't. From the 42-yard line, St. Louis goes with the ace set here. He looks to throw on first down. He catches another. He's tackled at the 13. The wide receiver has been impossible to stop no matter what the defense has tried to do. Yeah, and you really can't do much more than what they've been trying to do to him. They know they're getting the ball to this receiver. You try and double cover him. You really can't triple cover somebody because then that means there's somebody else running wide open. They're just going to have to take their medicine here. Tackled at about the 11. 
maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Offensive line this one up at the 12. They'll come out in the eye. Little handoff. And they get him at the 11. A one yard gain by the halfback. New York comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's looking to throw. Surveys the field. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. And that was a nice connection for the score. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. The snap, set down, the kick is up. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick is away. Brought down at the 24-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The Giants come out with the offset eye. Hands it off. He's tackled about the 25-yard line. Gain of two, and that will bring up second down. They line up in a one-back set. Sets up the play action. And he caught it. Tackled at the 39-yard line. An impressive first half for the quarterback. You know, I know there are a lot of people out there who like to watch defensive football games. Not me. I like to watch a guy throw it around like this. His quarterback's hot, and he knows it. So it's now first and ten after the big pass play. Manning is in the gun. Three wide receivers this time. Manning looking to throw on first down with the throw. There for the reception. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. Hands it to the back. He's dropped at the 23-yard line. They pick up two yards. That'll bring up second down. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 23. One man backfield. Man in motion. Back to throw. Throws it short. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. The receiver was out of bounds when he made the catch. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. He throws on the run. He couldn't hang on to it. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. And it's wide of the mark. The coaching staff won't be very happy after that miss. They brought him in for the specific purpose of making those kinds of kicks. And a few more of those misses, he might want to start looking to pack up his house because he might just be out of a job. So the score is still the Giants, 17, the Rams, 27. They'll throw on first down. Gets rid of the ball. Catch is made. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. That was a good-looking throw. Yeah, great throw, but maybe even a better read. He understood by watching what the defense did after the snap of the football exactly where to go with that ball. Feeds it to the back. 
He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Jackson gets it on the inside. He's brought down at the 47-yard line. Jackson comes away with two yards on the carry. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. 12, 12. Drops back, throws off his back foot, and they get him at the 43-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Jones is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. A missed field goal into their last drive. Let's see if they can put something together. Drops back on first down. Throws right. Out of bounds, incomplete. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay in bound. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one. Just thrown a little bit too far outside. Manning sends a man in motion. They're going to pitch it. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. Gain of under a yard, and so it'll be third down. Third and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Giants come out in a two-tight end set. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Full start. Offense. And we'll replay third down. And the quarterback's thinking, thanks a lot, guys. Now we have some heavy duty lifting to do. Two minutes to go in the half. They give it to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 19. And they get no push on the offensive line. Oh, yeah, they did. They were all moonwalking on that play. They were pushing. They were just pushing and going backwards. He punts it. Hall fields it at the 44. He's brought down around the 43-yard line. That guy just showed off some pretty good skills on that return. I thought for sure he was taking that one back to the house. You know, anytime you get a guy with that kind of skill level in the open field with a little room to run, good things are going to happen. He drops back to pass. Throws on the run. Knocked out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Back to the line, but nothing more. So that'll make it second down. Bolger lines up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers this time. Looks to pass. Gets the throw off. And they can't connect. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. From the 43-yard line. Three wideouts here. Huge pressure by the defense. He doesn't get back to the line. Loses a yard on that completion. He just couldn't make anything happen after he brought it in. Good job by the defense. McQuarters is back awaiting the punt.
It's away and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive and they were forced to punt. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He looks to throw on first down. Brings it in. And they get him around the 28-yard line. The slant pattern is good for an eight-yard gain on the play. If you're going to play man-to-man -man coverage against this team, you're going to have to take away that slant route. That time they hit it for a big play. Makes the catch. He's dropped at the 37. They line up at the 37. The Giants line up with 3-1. Looks to pass. Throws short. It's completed. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. Good read of the defense on that pass play. Yeah, and throws like that really settle a quarterback down. It's all about getting into the flow of a game, and you can see he's getting comfortable now. On play action. Andy has been his go-to guy on the drive. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. The Giants take a timeout, and now they have no timeouts remaining. They line up at the 10. Kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it off. It's fielded at the two. At the 30. They get him at the 42. They'll start this drive at the 42. Jackson lines up as the deep back, I formation. He throws it with the catch. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. And as we head to halftime, the score is 27-20. The kick. It's loose. Carter gets the loose ball. Let's go, and a costly go, fumble. He was hit hard on that one, but you have to expect that on kick returns because you have guys flying 100 miles per hour in both directions. Jackson is the lone setback. Three receivers in the formation. Back to throw. Defense is getting pressure. Batted away. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Bolger back to pass. There for the catch. He's brought down at about the three-yard line. And that play could have easily gone for six. And when you start to hit a couple of big pass plays, it really puts the defense in a tough spot. They no longer feel quite as brave coming up and defending those short passes. Jackson gets the ball. Brought down at the one. Three yards there. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Big play, B. Tries for the end zone. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Torrey Holt is just magical, I think, around the goal line. Great hands, great concentration, and you can just see his enthusiasm go up when that ball is in the air and he has any chance at all to score a touchdown. Big play, Torrey Holt. You are well named.
and the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He gets his leg into this one. He'll return it from the one. Hit and dropped at the 30. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Jacobs gets the call. He's going to be tackled for a loss. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. Back to throw. The pocket is collapsing. Tackled around the 50-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Jacobs alone back. Another run. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That was an excellent run there to pick up the first. Yes, sir. He really found a nice hole, was able to exploit it for a good gain. They're going to have to do a better job getting in those running lanes if they're going to stop him consistently. He fakes it. And they drop him for the sack. And they couldn't have asked for better timing on the sack. The quarterback's going to have to start changing up his snap count a little bit because right now we're seeing this defensive line getting off the ball faster than the offensive line. If he doesn't start changing it up, it's going to be a tough afternoon for him. Drops back to pass. Guns it right. And they get him right around the 44-yard line. A pickup of four. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Manning back to throw. The defense has him surrounded. Tipped it away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Gets the punt away. It's down at the one. He did everything that was asked of him on that punt. Yeah, that was a great job. He kept it in the field of play. It was downed inside his opponent's territory. All the return man really could do in that situation is just get out of the way. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down around the five-yard line. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards from their own five-yard line. St. Louis comes to the line with three wide. Back to throw. Goes through his read. It's intercepted. To the 20. Tackle at the 12. What a big time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. Looks to pass with the hard throw out to his left. They finally bring him down, and it's first and goal. Personal foul, face pass, defense. And so the defense First gives down. up some yards after the fly. 
And I know this is a game of emotion. And if you're not emotional on the football field, you're going to get beat anyway. But you can't let your emotions get away from you. He lost yardage on the play. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. New York goes with the ace set here. He gets in for six. The running back finds the end zone again. Consistency, that's what this guy brings to your team. It's like that old beat-up robe that you love to wear. Your wife hates it. You love it. You know it's going to keep you warm. And it's consistently just treating you right over the years. That's what this guy brings. His best performance, game in and game out. Up and good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. The kick is away. Hall fields it at the 7. He's hammered at the 27-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. Bolger lines up under center. Two backs in the eye. McMichael takes off to the left side. Gives to the back. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Jackson picks up five yards with the carry. It's second and five here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Offset eye formation in the backfield. This one appeared to be on the offense. Full start, offense. He moved a little early on that one. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Looks to pass. He's under a heavy rush. He's dropped at the 30. Screen is good for just about four yards. We've got a third and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Rams come out with the offset eye. Bolger sends a man in motion. All kinds of pressure. Makes the grab. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. New York is lined up. They look like they're sending the house after this punt. Punts it. McQuarters fields it at the 27. What a shot! They were able to put together a nice drive on their last possession. They'll be looking to make it two in a row on this drive. Tackled at the 43-yard line. About eight yards there. I really thought the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz that time, but you could see the running back using his speed and quickness to get away. Good job by the back. Looking for an open man. And he catches it. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. So they got it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. That's such a hard play to try and contain as a defensive player. You simply can't afford to give up the big play, so you have to give them something. And typically, it's those short, quick throws. That time for a first down. He's hammered in the backfield. One-yard loss for the halfback. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 38-yard line. 
New York sends a man in motion to the left. Dumps it out left. Incomplete. No connection this time. Jacobs was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Six DBs on the field for the defense. Drops back to pass. Dumps it out right. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up four. The punter's going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Gets the punt away. Down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt on their last drive. From the gun. Back to pass. Rockets it. Comes down with it. And they get him right around the 28-yard line. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. He drops back to pass. He throws right. Pass is complete. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10 into the end zone for a touchdown. How can the defense keep him out of the end zone, Chris? That was his second score of the game. You know, Tom, they're trying to get physical with him. They're trying to beat him up a little bit, but he's too quick. He just keeps eluding the defenders. Every time they try to get physical with him, he ends up scoring a touchdown. And here's the extra point. And the point after is good. Not a bad kick. Hickson fields it at the two. Drill at the 31. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Offset eye formation in the backfield. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Jacobs comes away with two yards on the carry. They line up at the 32. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Drops back. Surveys the field. Brings this one in. He's brought down at the 42. That was a nice play. Yeah, the quarterback and receiver read that one all the way and took advantage of the blitz to come up with a big time play. Counter play. He didn't get back to the line. Cornerback did a nice job recognizing the play and getting in there for the stop. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. And the ref blows this one dead. Full start. And he definitely moved on that one. And it's so embarrassing to jump off sides seconds. for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. Sometimes you just forget. Drops back to pass. Throws wild on the run. He's dropped around the 28-yard line. That catch puts him over 100 yards receiving. Not much doubt is there, Tom, as to who this quarterback likes. He found the guy that he's most comfortable with, 
And he doesn't care which coverage you're in. He's going to this guy. He looks to throw on first down. On the run, he throws it. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. I think they're going to have to bring out another bottle of oxygen for the wide receivers today. They've been running all over the place, and this quarterback is starting to feel it. It is a hot connection between he and the receivers today. Play action. Goes for the end zone. Defender tips it away. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Manning calls for motion right. Rifles it right. He's in. Touchdown. And that one worked just like they drew it up. You have to be careful with this offense not to pay too much attention to those great receivers on the outside. Sometimes those tight ends can really be a problem. What did that pay off big? And they line up for the extra point. Up and good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. Williams from the three. Dropped at the 27-yard line. Their last drive ended in a touchdown, and they take the field again, hoping for a similar result. Bolger is under center. Only one man back here. Gives to the back. Tackle at the 28-yard line. The running back gains two yards on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Setting up play action. And it's completed. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. The defense was in great position to stop that play short, bringing up a third down situation. And when I saw the quarterback drop back that time, I really thought they had something going, but they closed quickly and made a nice play defensively to bring up this third down. Rifles it out there. Pass completed. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Big game, Torrey Holt has done it again. There's no question when he's healthy, he's one of the best receivers in the game. Just so smooth in and out of cuts. It just it doesn't look like it would be difficult to cover him but he explodes once he gets into that cut and gets separation. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. Full start, offense. And that one got him five yards. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. Drops back on first down. Scans the field. He throws on the run. And he catches another. Goes out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. They give it to the tailback. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That was a nice effort to get the first on the short game. Well, one thing you know as a running back, as long as they keep moving the sticks, they're going to keep giving you the ball. Picked up the first down, did his job. They'll throw on first down. Looks for a man open. Bulger has all day. 
Oh, and he dropped. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Drops back. He needs to get rid of it. And it's caught. And they get him at the 35. Good pocket presence shown as the quarterback was able to get rid of it just before the pressure got to him. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. Strong throw. Knocked out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Another solid game through the air by the quarterback. He's up over 400 yards now. And you can almost see the smoke coming out of the back of the ball when he throws it. This guy has plenty of velocity. We talked to some of the receivers and sort of joking around about, oh, come on, you can catch the ball. You got the gloves. You got all the stuff. One of them laughed and said, hey, you try it. This guy brings it. St. Louis sets up in the eye. Sets up the play action. He's brought down around the 17-yard line. Eight of seven through the air on that play. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. The halfback with the carry. He's tackled at the 11s, and it looks like he just barely got the first. Yeah, it's almost like he knew exactly where that first down marker was and just got enough for the first down. Rolls right. Is there for the catch. And simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. Touchdown! Good call on the quarterback sneak as he burrows his way into the end zone. Those quarterbacks always have a little smile on their face when they're calling the quarterback sneak in the huddle. They know their life now depends on the big guys up front. And the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Here's the kick. Hickson from the one. He's hammered at the 23. If the offense can air it out as effectively as they did on their last drive, it's going to be a long day for everyone on that defense. The Giants line up with an offset eye backfield. Sets up the play action. Can't stay in bounds, incomplete pass. It looked like he tried to drag his feet as he was going out, but he couldn't get him down. You know, and sometimes that happens. The quarterback put it in a spot where only he could catch it. The problem was the ball was just a little off target. Drops back to pass. He throws left. Makes the catch. Brought down at the 38. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Gives it off. He's dropped for a loss. 
Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He drops back. Short pass to his left. Brought down behind the line. The completion goes for negative yardage, loss of two. They did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that one. Manning looking to throw. Throws it short. Completed. Out of bounds around the 32-yard line. And they don't get much on that completed pass, leaving them well short of the marker. You know, it's kind of hard for me to analyze that play because I have no idea what they were thinking about. You have to at least make an effort to pick up a first down. He punts it. Makes the fair catch. Their previous two trips downfield were a success, and they take the field hoping for a third. Roger, Roger, Roger. New York brings in the nickel here. McMichael is the man in motion. Drops back on first down. No, he drops it. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. Three wide receivers set. He fakes it. Fires it out. Makes the reception. Knocked out of bounds around the 47-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. Always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies. You know, just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. They're going to pitch it. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 36. They get three yards on the play. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Jackson gets the ball. He makes a move and he's brought down. This running back just showed off some nice ability there. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary and then he was able to explode from there. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Boy, he just took a shot on that one. As a running back, the last thing in the world you want is a short gain and a big hit. Jackson takes it up the middle. And they get him at the 26-yard line. Gain of under a yard. That'll bring up third down. And this is play number eight on this drive. They'll bring the dime backs in. Beck is the man in motion. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So they tried to push it ahead, but the defense stopped them short on the first down. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. Here's the kick. And he makes it. And he put that one through nicely. It's a pretty rare kicker that can kick a ball that far with that kind of accuracy that was just a cannon shot he kicks it off 
Hickson fields it at the one. At the 30. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and was able to come up with a solid return that time. Well, there's just no other way to say it. They have to do a better job on special teams. They're making this guy look like the greatest kick returner of all time. When he touches the ball, you have to contain him. You have to get him on the ground. He's there for the catch. Brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of nine yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. They line up with one running back in the backfield, three wide. He drops back, throws on the run. He's dropped around the 48-yard line. That's a smart and safe play by the quarterback. Just keeping the drive alive there. Not a ton of yards, but they're moving in the right direction. New York lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. Drops back on first down. Throws a bullet, and it's intercepted by the backer. Well, he looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Single back formation. Bolger hands it left. And they get him around the 34-yard line. Pickup of less than a yard. That brings up second down. They line up at the 34. St. Louis comes out with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. Short throw to the left. He steps out at the 31. Looks to be a loss of around three or so on the play. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. He'll get the call again. And he's drilled at the 35. He picks up four yards on the carry. So it's fourth down. The Rams are lining up to punt this one away. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. He fields the punt at the 20. Brought down at the 25. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. They'll come out in the eye. Tackled at the 28-yard line. Jacobs, Jacobs gains around three yards on the run. Manning is in the shotgun. Three wide formation. They tackle him for a loss. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. He's looking to throw. Dumps it out right. He's brought down at about the 37-yard line. He ran a clean route, and the quarterback got it to him with a good pass, first down. And you can tell there's a lot of confidence between these two guys. The quarterback has faith in these tough situations to go to that receiver and make big plays. And they'll run him again. He's tackled at the 40. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second and eight. Ball on their own 40. Jacobs is the lone setback. Three receivers in the formation. Drops back. Throws out to the right. And he makes the tall grab. Brought down at the 47-yard line and a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Jacobs on the right side. 
He's brought down at the 45. Jacobs picks up two yards with the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 45. Jacobs lines up as the single back. Drops back. Gets the pass out. Dropped behind the line. Nothing doing on that play. That brings up another third down attempt. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. Manning hasn't missed yet. Moves to his right, and he caught it. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Smith picked up six for that grab. From the 39-yard line. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Manning drops to throw. Rockets it out. Long knocks it down. The offense will take over at the 39-yard line. First and ten. Bolger gives it up the middle. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Jackson gains around six yards on the run. Jackson lines up as the lone back. Three receivers split out wide. Jackson on the run. He's brought down at the 48-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. It's a pass on third and short. Passes the ball. To the 20, to the 10. And he scores. What a play. No matter what play the defense calls, they can't seem to stop him. Yeah, just so you know, everybody who plays in the NFL is a great player. But sometimes there are great players, and sometimes there are guys that are a little off the charts. This receiver is a little off the charts. They're lining it up for the point after. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He gets his leg into this one. He's hammered at the 26-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Nice play fake. Short pass to his left. And he's out at the 31. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. Looking to throw. Throws it short. Tipped pass. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Shockey is the man in motion. Back to pass. Throws left. And he's out of bounds, incomplete.
They'll get the ball here at the 31. Bolger lines up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. On the ground with a tailback. He's dropped right around the 26-yard line. Jackson gains around five yards on the draw play. St. Louis lines up in the offset eye this time. Bolger gives it up the middle. Brought down about the 25-yard line. A gain of a yard, if anything, on the run. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Bolger drops back. He throws it. There for the reception. And they get him right around the 14-yard line. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Play action. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Nice play fake. He scrambles around. And it's caught. Touchdown. The defense hasn't been able to slow this passing game down at all. And this one, that's his sixth touchdown pass. I tell you, the last thing you ever expect in the NFL is to have a laugher kind of a day like this on offense. Defenses are so good. These coaches put in so many hours trying to figure out how to stop an offense. And today, this offense has just been too much. They've been going up and down the field all day, and it's been fun to watch. And here's your drive summary for that last series. He kicks it. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Dropped at the 32-yard line. They turned it over on downs their last time out. They'll start at the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. They'll go from the I formation. Looking to throw. He throws short. Tackle at the 48-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see them driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. First down, looking to throw. Short throw to the right. That pass wasn't even close. Yeah, it wasn't close because the big guy was giving him a whack just as he let that one go. He was really under some pressure that time. Drops back. Makes the throw out to his left. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Drops back to pass. Throws the bullet to the right. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. That's now 500 yards passing by the quarterback. Tom, I know you've enjoyed watching this. I've enjoyed watching this. I think those guys on defense, though, are about ready to go home. He drops back to pass. Rifles it left. He's brought down around the 14-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. 
play action. Passes to the end zone. It's intercepted. If I was this quarterback, I might start to throw away from this defender. You better be careful throwing it in the zone of this guy. He is on it, and he is quick. He's on his game today. On play action. Catch is made. He's dropped at the 19-yard line. And they pick up nine with the completion. That'll bring up second down. The Rams come out in a single back formation. They'll give it off here. And they get him at the 20. And they get a first down on the short carry. Not only do they pick up the first down, but they also keep that clock moving. The pressure really starting to build on this defense now. And I'm sure at least one of these teams is happy to see this one in. Our final score, the Rams 65, the Giants 34.